This is Mountain Interactive's Roblox group, and these are all their games. Now you probably recognize Paris, California and Victor Valley, but you might not have heard much about San Dimas. This is a game they have spent lots of time on making and i'm gonna show you that this is a pretty cool game and because of that i'm gonna check this game out today and record it for all of you people so when you load into san dimas this is what you're met with and this game is actually very different to their other games such as paris so first of all when you walk up to a door you actually have to hold f and interact with the door and now this is actually pretty cool and i do recognize this from another game which is called emergency hamburg so over here you basically hold f and you can spawn different vehicles and you can see we can spawn each and every one right now we're gonna go with the ford mustang because why not now this is a more i don't know child friendly game if that's the correct term to use because it's actually very easy to understand and it's not as realistic as for example paris it doesn't require as much thinking if you get what i mean <laughs> now here's one of the vehicles these are pretty cool cars i can't lie but they're much easier to use because they are not manual at least not this one and this is exactly what i mean now it's extremely dark as you can see to be honest i can't see much but that's because it's night time right now <laughs> so what's the whole point with this game well, basically, it's supposed to be just an easy roleplay game that's fun to play around in, but less complicated than their other games. Now, Mountain Interactive is pretty known for their high-quality standard games and realistic games, and this is actually a pretty realistic game as well, but it does kind of have this different feeling that kind of reminds you of emergency hamburg and erlc but at the same time combined with their own feeling such as their famous game called paris and victor valley it's kind of like a combination between some famous roleplay games as well as some of their own games now why do i see this game having so much potential well it has been developed for quite a while now and most of the stuff do work in game now at this point all we're waiting for is the owner of the game as well as the developers to finish up the the remaining stuff that needs to be added Added, and then we have a fully working game now if i press q we should have a little menu here oops i just scrolled in too much okay so here we go we got this little cool menu which you can actually go into the settings oh page under development okay okay that's one, one of the things they need to fix you see right there but then we also have a credits menu we have a currency tab a player stats tab and a team change tab so we're going into the team change so in here you can actually see all the different teams and this is absolutely amazing this is so cool i've never seen a menu like this kind of reminds me of gda somehow so there's lasd and there's civilian of course then we got sdpd this is pretty awesome and all of these have different ranks you can see all these ranks on the side these are all different that's so cool there's even dot fbi which is a game pass you can buy for 500 robux and there is chp which requires loss of xp and it hasn't released yet then we got lacofd is that a fire team i guess so fire department this team is also releasing pretty soon so that's insanely cool we're going on to sdpd I want to see the police team. So as a cadet, you basically spawn in here, all normal and stuff. You have a whole CAD system, so you can go on duty. Let's go on duty. Uh, you can actually see here if you're on duty or not. You have a lookup thing, so you can look up people's license plates and usernames, etc, etc. Then there's also a map, which I'm not sure if it has been fully finished yet. That's pretty cool. So we got a uh, taser. Let's see how this works. Unholster, E. Oh, yeah, that's cool. All right, so you press... Yeah, you can actually use this. It's really awesome. And the glass fell off. <laughs> and then we got a Glock, which you also unholster by using E. And the reason why they have this unholster system is much more complicated than you might think. So the reason why is because else people can just run up to somebody and pull out a Glock so fast that you don't have time to react at all. And it makes it more realistic because in real life, when cops are getting in to shoot us and stuff, they're usually not ready for it. So they have to like unholster their Glock and everything, get it out, and then start firing back. So that's pretty cool and realistic as well so in first person it looks like this uh, it's not the most realistic looking lock but it fires quite fine i'm not sure how much damage he steals etc but yeah this is the uniform we get as spawning in as a cadet and we also got this beautiful holster and yeah these two tools not sure if there are other tools as well there will probably be added in the future because i don't think these are all of them now i'm not entirely sure where you spawn a car and stuff i'm guessing it's in here because there's a whole garage to place oh yeah we got lots of police cars here already this reminds me of that parking lot in um, 
Paris for their old parking lot to be exact. Can we actually use these cars or are they as props? Let's find out. These are probably as props actually. So where could we potentially spawn a car? Oh here, this is the vehicle spawner, okay. So the only car we can currently spawn is the SDP, the Crown Victoria Generation 1. So let's spawn that in and see where it ends up. Oh, right here. Okay, cool. This is a really good looking police car, I can't lie dang so let's get inside you gotta open the door in this game pretty cool and then you gotta sit down awesome now we just got a lot of options when we got into this police car for example you can use the air horn by pressing h the priority by pressing g and these sirens are way too loud for my ears to handle and there's gel on t whale on r toggle els on j let's see those yep three times let's see oh yeah this is beautiful really beautiful but i kind of feel the like gloom is a little big when making thumbnails for these kinds of games it's actually super hard sometimes because there's too much gloom from the els so i kind of recommend uh, making the gloom a little less and this is really cool you can actually toggle the gate by holding you right here that's awesome then of course there are the headlights the blinkers then of course there's the quick menu you can open the cad by pressing left all you can use the radio by pressing left control and you can sprint by uh, using left shift yeah pretty standard i would say so what are my honest thoughts on the game well as of right now it's in a pretty good state i'm not gonna lie it's in a pretty good state but i can still see certain features be added before the complete release of the game because i'm currently playing as a tester or whatever you want to call it i'm simply just in here trying out the game right now because i myself haven't really checked this game out much before i've seen it like once or twice before but it was in a much much earlier stage so it's amazing to see how far they've come now i do believe this can be a hit if they just managed to optimize the game correctly and i really hope this game isn't like group locked and discord locked because this is a game which i believe could be more not fail rp style but more child friendly you get what i mean it's so much easier to play and i believe the older people playing these games from mountain interactive are probably gonna stick with for example paris or victor valley because i see this game as a more child friendly option and i think that's exactly why they made this game so hopefully they optimize it correctly and don't just mess up making people not want to play the game now there's also some other kinds of optimization that's very important for these games and that's the lag optimization because i know for a fact that people yep you heard me right people do not like lag and that's honestly some of the things that's the most important in these games but so far i cannot even smell or sense any lag in this game and that's perfect because in for example harris i do even on my pc feel lag and my pc is a pretty high standard one whatever you want to call it so therefore i think this is the perfect kind of game that they have managed to create here and hopefully we will actually see this release sooner or later but i think it's gonna release now sometime in the coming few months maybe Maybe right before the summer or during the summer not entirely sure but something like that now very interesting to see some new games by mountain interactive being released and i'm looking forward to it so have a great day y'all and see you in the next vid bye